anything and no, it ain't easy, but why would you want it to be? I've been carving out a path in front of you, fighting all A.T. Gang, we're here, Clutch Gang, we're here, man. Welcome back to the All the Above Podcast. This is your boy, Farrell Michael. We chiming in, and we most definitely chiming in. We are chiming in, boy. But uh, this message is for my conscious and unconscious Moorish brothers and sisters. Um, I've let it be known, and to uh, also this message is for the, the people that are trying to get educated on just generally what the Moorish national movement is about. This is not a club. This is not um, something that you have to pay money for. This is not, uh, you know, any of that stuff. This is just the nation that thinks that they are black, that is not protected by any international law, that, that wants to seek refuge in understanding and remedy true remedy to uh your problems mentally physically spiritually this is a one fix all thing man what you talking about man you just trying to sell me some religious shit let you know like yo this is this is some islamic stuff man and y'all terrorists and y'all just mean people Ooh. No, that is not what this is. You know what I'm saying? But how can you go out in the world and be what you're supposed to be and you don't even know who you are? I mean, people are doing it. You know, but not having your correct culture come to you and find you is very heartbreaking on so many levels. Now, I have made it quite clear that I am a Moorish national. Um, I know I, Micah Haran Bey, Impropia Persona Sujuris, I understand uh, inside and outside the tribunal who and what I am. I understand my true origin. You know, through uh, Noble Drew Ali, of course, through studying uh, the five percenters, through uh, studying, frankly, quite frankly, all religions, because Moors, historically, we were and still are the light of the world. We taught the world all of his inhabitants. We taught them, our children, uh, everything they know. So much to the point where they still um, honor us in secret. They honor us on the back of the Federal Reserve note, the fiat note, um, the Moorish dynasties on the right side in the Roman Empire is on the left side. They on they honor us in secret. They honor us um, a lot of times outright in uh, different you know political meetings and different you know things that they might have on TV. They say different cold words or they might even talk about the more straight up because uh, my uh, unconscious brothers and sisters they still think that. Uh, you know, their nouns uh, trying to be adjectives, okay? Uh, They are nouns that are trying to be adjectives. Now, if if you are um, 14th and 15th Amendment child of property, yes, you do have something to worry about. You know, how do you stop being 14th and 15th Amendment child of property? 
that's too, you need to start doing a reclamation of right. Reclaiming everything and stating who you are for the record. That is all the time. You do it all the time. So when you're going to the tribunus or the tribunal, you know uh, what to do. You know where to stand. Um, I, I had a situation today. Uh, it was a very good situation. It was a European brother. Uh, I'm in Springfield, Missouri right now. And uh, I was I was uh, riding around. Uh, well, not really riding around. Sorry, y'all. I was um, getting coconuts because I love coconuts. <laughs> I was getting a, a box of uh, two boxes of young coconuts from the Asian market because I have to have a couple of coconuts every day. It's a part of my uh, my holistic diet. It's, it's part of that electric that electric energy diet, which is uh, I'll talk about on another video. Um, I have on my my red 1995 Chevy Silverado, I have Moorish plates on the front and the back I also have in my windows on the right and left side of my pickup truck. Um, travel is a right and not a privilege. Educate yourself, educate yourself, travel, is a right and not a privilege. Self-explanatory to um, any Moorish brother or sister that has been studying for quite some time and they understand that travel is most definitely a right, so they truly exercise it. Because we can have conversations about what you think all day. If you pay uh, the DMV, which are highway uh, criminals, uh, if you pay them uh, fees for a driver's license, uh, registration, uh, you know, tag and insurance and all that jazz, that is called tacit, tacit acquiescence. Either you, I hope it wasn't uh, knowingly, but nine times out of 10, you have unknowingly waived your rights. Look it up. It is called tacit acquiescence. And this applies to uh, peoples and persons that think that they are uh, 14th and 15th Amendment Christian chattel property, Christian being Europeans. This is not a secret. This is They don't hide this stuff. They, uh, they are very open about how they feel about their 14th to 15th Amendment Christian child property. That's why y'all get shot down. Uh, So-called blacks get shot down like dogs in the street. Not saying that it's right. I'm saying educate oneself so that remedy truly takes place. Uh, and, it, and it does change and people handle you differently. And uh, I've been studying, uh, I've been studying for 10 plus years, man. And it's been, it's been a good, 10 plus years, uh, you know, I start really exercising certain things and um, I get treated like a national everywhere I go. So, um, uh, I had a, I had a, a European brother uh, pull up on me. Uh, he, he uh, you know, respectfully cut me off <laughs> in the traffic, uh, in the traffic lane. I was uh, turning on uh a road called Glenstone, making a left turn, got in the right-hand lane. I'm almost to my house. And um, he pulled over in front of me. He was like, man, I just, you know, I, I need you to, you know, can you pull over, pull over and educate me, man? He said it just like that. Like, man, I, you know, you know, edu educate me, man. Educate me. Pull, pull over and educate me, man, please. So, you know, I, of course, certainly, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I, you know, it's not a big deal. Uh, I, I get, uh, I get people that ride behind me and look at me or ride on the side of me. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with the policy officer. Same thing with, uh, most people, my truck's bright red, so it's easy to see. And I got signs. I got a white and red, um, educate yourself 
Uh, travel is a right and not a privilege. Educate yourself. Travel is a right and not a privilege. I have that in a, on a white and red sign so it sticks out even more. And like I said, I got Moorish tags on the front and the back. Um, also, um, I have a private property sign and I will be putting that in this video. Okay. So, um, you know, I'll pull over and we talk. He had, he had a job to go do, I guess. So we only talked for about six or seven minutes and, uh, he pulled out a, a, a pocket of gold, uh, coins and he's like, well, what do you think of these? I said, well, it's, it's money, you know, and I, you know, and I expressed to him that the, the dollar bill is not dollar. Dollar is Latin for coin, gold coin. I think it's 85% gold. Okay. 85 percenter. Uh, I have a, a, a little stash that I will be putting this in also. Also guys, don't panic if you don't have gold coins, not a big deal. Uh, but you do need to be saving your quarters, uh, your nickels, um, and your dimes. You need to be saving your quarters, your nickels, and your dimes. Also, be in your pennies as well. I'm sorry. Your pennies. Whoa, how can I forget the penny? Ooh, wow. So much, so, so much more history behind that. Quarters, nickels, dimes, pennies in the dollar you know what i'm saying dollar is latin for coin and i didn't get a chance to express that to him because i you know when i get in knowledge dropping mode i start you know putting out the most important things and then i start going into just basic history um you know uh me and the european brother we talk and he you know we exchange numbers and I told him, man, you need to pay attention to the movies. You need to pay attention to, uh, there's a lot of people in, in the lot. There's a lot of Europeans and also Moorish brothers and sisters in high places that are trying to set this thing right. So I thought it was real cool, man, that, uh, you know, you know, everyone is bearing witness to the knowledge and, uh, he knew that he was like, man, I'm all about trying to break away from the government, this and that, da, 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 da. And I was like, man, you can do, you can do, you can start by calling yourself, living in the realm of really calling yourself what you are. You are not white, you're European. I'm not black, I am Moorish. Okay. And I didn't get to go into ge geographically. Excuse me, guys. I drank a lot of water. Um, I didn't get to go, uh, into, uh, you know, the secrets of, you know, the geographic locations and I didn't, I didn't get to go to any of that stuff with, with, with him because, uh, he had to go, but, um, that, that, that made me feel good that, um, you know, I'm truly doing this for education purposes. All this is free. All this is uh, for my uh, unconscious Moorish brothers and sisters, and uh, the the conscious Moorish brothers and sisters. They already know. They're already on the same page with me, and they they are exercising their rights on a daily to um pretty much just you know get what's owed to them. You know, you know we talk about forty acres in a mule. There's no way in hell you're ever going to get 40 acres in a mule if you are so-called black. Because if you think you're black, uh, you know, whatever contracts you signed under this government or, you know, you're trying to get a mortgage and mortgages uh, pretty much stands for dead pledge. Uh, the pledge is, is dead and uh, uh, this contract is dead and you're the pledge, pretty much. The etymology of um, mortgage is dead pledge. Uh, the contract is dead, you're the pledge, and if you think that you are uh, 14th, 15th uh, Christian Channel property, which is black, you, you signed up for one of these mortgage plans, and that is just 
that is just a piece of the struggle that you are either going through or going to begin to go through. Okay. If you, if your house is $250,000 and if you didn't pay $250,000 gold coins, because this is the definition of a dollar. If you didn't pay this, you didn't pay for your house. The contract was fraudulent. Uh, Federal Reserve note, fiat notes. They are literally IOUs and they aren't good for a damn thing. Uh, half the world, more than half the world is under a spell and they do not understand or know that when you speak of the word dollar, when you speak of dollar or a dollar bill, this is a dollar bill. This is a dollar, okay? Uh, once again, this is etymology. This is not something that I made up. You can look all this stuff up. I have went to the belly of the beast before I made a video about, you know, going in court and not standing on my square. The first time I went to court, this is shit. This is about four or five years ago. And I knew, I knew this stuff. Okay, guys. And I didn't do the right thing. And the only way I got free is to stand on my square. So when I violated my probation with a drug charge, I won't go into that. And of course, I'm not not doing that anymore. I'm, I'm strictly all about the knowledge, you know, strictly all about empowering my brothers and my sisters. So I didn't want to be one of the Morris brothers and sisters that, you know, just living a certain lifestyle and, you know, using my knowledge to you know i just didn't i just didn't feel good doing that so um you know i violated my probation on purpose uh with uh with the drug charge and i had a dream i knew i had to go to the belly of the beast and i had to face them but when i went through the process it was a breeze because i knew that i knew this stuff I knew that I was very fluent in law and jurisprudence. I knew I was very fluent in my Moorish history. I'm very passionate about this stuff, man. And the only way my brothers and sisters are gonna get free is if you guys, you know, take this stuff seriously. Take it seriously. There are Europeans low and high places trying to fix this. There are Moorish brothers and sisters in high places and low places trying to fix this, man. So, hey, T.A. Gang, we in here, man. I love y'all. Um, uh, I just, I just, that, you know, that lets me know I'm going in the right direction. I, I, of course, I knew before. But, you know, people are so intimidated by, I guess, me. I'm 6'2", 230 pounds, and I can admit I'm not, you know, I'm not the most approachable guy uh, in public, but, um, I, man, anytime I get to, uh, expound and drop knowledge, man, it is my pleasure because that's what, it, that's what it was meant for me to do. That's, that's one of my callings is to spread the word, spread the knowledge. And, uh, you know, I want to bring honor to my ancestors. I want to bring honor to the Maghrib, this land that I stand on. I bring honor to the the, the, that, that feminine universal energy, man, that governs over all of us, man. So I uh, love y'all, man. I love y'all, um, Islam, my, my Moorish brothers and sisters out there, man. And yes, I got a fez and, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't really dress up, you know, unless I'm around, around the community of my brothers and sisters, then I might you know, throw in a turban or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, I'm playing Jane. So you don't have to have a fez. And you know, feel like you, if you don't have a fez, you're not a moor. That's not how this works. Moorish, your Moorish bloodline is you. It is it is the blood that pumps through your veins. Okay, so uh, this is not something that can be sold. You can't buy a packet and say you're more. The 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 when you came out of your mother's womb, that's when you became a moor. Moorish even before even in the in the blood in the in the the omnionic 
amun, even in the amniotic fluid of your mother. Well, of yourself, technically, because the placenta, you know, the baby is in itself, but that's another story. But, um, you know, you're born. You're going to live and die Moorish. Chinese people live and die Chinese. Uh, you know, Jamaican people live and die Jamaican, even though there's extended family of the Moors as well. Um, Russians live and die Russians. Um, and the Moorish flag is at, is at the White House. And the Moorish flag is in the United Nations. Morocco is not over there. It's over here. And, and they don't want you to know that technically it's really all one land. You know, so when you look at... Um, when you look at a, a, a globe or a picture of, of the world map, that's not really how it looks, <laughs> okay? <laughs> they are playing a very big game, so I'm not gonna be too long-winded with you guys. When, you, when you're when you wholehearted with the knowledge, man, people are just gonna walk up to you. Or when people know that you know something that is not of the norm, okay? People are gonna walk up to you and just want conversation. So I love you guys, man. Uh, love, justice, peace, truth, and freedom for all. Love, justice, peace, peace, truth, and freedom for all, man. I love y'all, my Moorish brothers and sisters out there. I love everybody out there, not just not just my Moorish uh, community. I love y'all, man. Uh, ATA gang, we're here. Clutch gang, we're here. I'm out of here. Eat it out. Bow!